it's a case study under simultaneous equation method you have service department expenses boiler house 3 lakhs pump room 60000 totally 3 lakhs 60000 then allocation boiler house expenses have to be allocate, allocated to production department a 60% production department b 35% boiler house no you can't pump room 5% because it's again boiler house so boiler house expenses are allocated to production department a b and pump room in the ratio or in the share of 60% 35% and 5% whereas pump room expenses are allocated to production department a 10% b 40% and boiler house 50 percent so here both these service departments are availing services that is uh, boiler house is rendering service to pump room pump room is also rendering service to boiler house okay so how to approach this we can approach this case by using simultaneous equation method because this is not a non-reciprocal had it been a non-reciprocal we could have uh, completed it uh, even more simpler but since both the service departments are availing services uh, when you arrive at the total cost of uh, uh, each and every service department uh, there is going to be an element of cost of other service department as well okay so we have to start with some assumption assumption is like this let x be the boiler house expense see already boiler house expense is available 3 lakh but that is not final because pump room expenses when it is allocated 50 percent of the pump room expenses goes to boiler house okay or it is attributable to boiler house so we can't say that it is 60,000 into 50 percent 30,000 no why because the boiler house expenses right boiler house expenses that is 3 lakh that is attributable or 5 percent of that expense is related to pump room okay so we cannot say directly we, we cannot directly say it is 3 lakh into 5 percent that's why we have to frame a equation here look at here we'll assume excess boiler house expense and y as pump room expense already we know boiler house expense is equal to 3 lakh but it is not mere 3 lakh there is also some expense arising from pump room how look at here look at the pump room expenses pump room expenses 50 percentage is attributable to boiler house so here we have assumed pump room expenses y so boiler room expense we assumed it as x is equal to 3 lakh plus 50 percentage of pump room expense which is nothing but y okay then what is pump room expense we assumed pump room expenses y and it is nothing but this 60,000 plus 5 percent of boiler house expense and boiler house expense we have assumed as x so pump room expense y is equal to 60,000 plus 5 percent 0 0.05 of x so we have two equations now that is x is equal to 3 lakh plus 0 0.5 y y is equal to 60,000 plus 0 0.05 x now let us substitute this x in y that is we are going to substitute this x in y where we will substitute over here we have 0 0.05 x at this point we will substitute this value fully let's see y is equal to 60,000 plus 0 0.05 x in the place of x we will bring this here 3 lakh plus 0 0.05 y so y is equal to 60,000 plus 3 lakhs into 0 0.05 is nothing but 15,000 plus 0.5 y multiplied by 0 0.05 is nothing but 0 0.02 y to 5 y okay let me repeat 0 0.05 into 3 lakh is equal to 15,000 0.05 into 0.5 is 0 0.025 y so y is equal to 60,000 plus uh, 15 it is 75,000 and uh, you can shift this 0 0.025 y to the left hand side so look at here when you shift this to the left hand side y minus 0 0.025 y you get 0 0.975 y and on the right hand side you have some of these two that is 75,000 so y is equal to 75,000 divided by 0 0.975 and you get 76,923 and for that matter what is y y is pump room expense so y is equal to 76,923 
now we will substitute this y in x how here we have x is equal to 3 lakh plus 0.5 y so we will do that here substitute y is equal to 76923 in x so it is x is equal to 3 lakh plus 0 0.5 into 76923 so you get x is equal to 3 lakh plus 38,462. So here you have x is equal to 3 lakh 38,462. And what is x? x is the boiler house expense. So now only you got the clear picture of what is x and what is y. Now only you have the clear picture or total cost of boiler house. Now only you have the total cost of pump room. Now how we can allocate this? As far as a boiler house expense is concerned, what is allocated to pump room is already factored in the equation and pump room expenses what is allocated to boiler house that is also factored so boiler house expense which should be allocated to production department a and b are 60 percent and 35 percent of the respective expenses and pump room expenses are going to be 10 percent and 40 percent of the respective expense which we have arrived let's do that here allocate expenses to production department production department we have a and b first one is boiler house we have calculated boiler house total expenses 3 lakh 38462 that is we calculated here okay that multiplied by 60 percent goes to production department a that multiplied by 35 percentage goes to production department b so when you multiply 60 percent you get this number when you multiply 35 percent you get this number okay this is how boiler house expenses allocated to production department a and b Next pump room, pump room what is the pump room expenses 76,923 on what percentages we have to allocate 10% and 40%. Let's do that. Pump room expenses 76,923 into 10% for A, 76,923 into 40% for B. So this is 76,92 for A and 76923 into 40% that is 30,769 for B okay so in that way pump room expenses were also allocated now let us total for A it is 2,10,769 we will total it for B also it is 1,49,231.